Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Good morning, y'all. This is Sunday morning, yes. I don't know when you look, you're watching a video though. <laughs> so happy, happy Sunday for the ones that are catching this video on Sunday. And for the ones who are catching up or playing catching up, hey, happy whatever day you are looking at this video. May it be a blessed one. But y'all, child, baby. When I saw this, I didn't even read going down to the bottom or anything. I was just looking like, wow, what this beautiful young girl done did. She's turning into a model. And lo and behold, that trifling itch right there. I can't stand her. I can't stand her, y'all. I can't. I think she's a bully. And I think she wants to be a man. That's just how I look at her. Because she has no scruples, no nothing. And if this is the lady, uh, she has some mad features. That's all I'm going to say. She has some mad features. I mean, I know she's a woman, but I just think she wants to be the man. She wants to wear the pants. And her husband is just a bitch. Mm -hmm. He's just a bitch. Ah, to let her control him and probably control his money and all of that. Now, you would think he would look up a little fruity. All they had to do was put some lipstick on, get into them skirts, some kilts, or whatever. You know, he looks manly there. But in the other picture, he looks a little fruity. Whew, the lines have been blurred, children. The lines have been blurred. Now, I want to know, is this the lady uh, that was sitting outside protesting against Dwayne Wade? That he wasn't giving her any money to live off? I think I saw an article. Or I saw a, um, a newscaster had her or had his ex-wife out there peddling for money and stuff of that nature and if she was doing that maybe she had some mental illness or maybe she was doing it because uh that nut behind that bossy itch uh wouldn't give her any money now you see that's his um fun zion to the right they got the jordan uh sweatshirt on or t-shirt on and this mama looked like she really cared about her children and she raised them as boys not he she's but boys and how and he ain't he cute oh he's so handsome but got with gabrielle union and the way stupid ass and somehow he felt he wanted to be a girl now we know children go through a lot of playing dress up and this that and the third when they're very very young and when they enter in pre-k you know, they don't really know because people haven't really told them. And there really haven't been no action figures for the boys to play with. You know, they little dolls or they little figure men to, you know, be in playland like girls say. And, um, <sighs> I, I don't know. Because I think Gab Gabrielle Union just came in and destroyed this family. And the family just got weaker and weaker and weaker till she broke everybody down. And she started to make what she felt. And mostly because of the elite was probably on her to do some type of sacrifice or whatnot. And she felt, well, why not? You have so many um, boys. Let's just see. And he looks kind of fruity. You know what I'm saying? He looks kind of fruity because he's cute. And that was um, Zion at the time, but now he's Zion. And this nut. This soulless man, I'm telling y'all, he looked like she done turned him out to the other side as well. Because he's just like a puppet. I can't stand even look at them. But when this story came past me, I was like, oh, my God. They done turned this boy into a real looking, talking, well, I don't know about the talking part, but the looking, the aesthetics as a girl. And you see that was a boy. 
That was a handsome boy. Now they don't flip the script and turn him into a girl. And I'm not saying that, you know, he might not have had these feelings inside thinking he was a female instead of a man. I'm not saying that. What I am saying is let a child be a child. Let them be in the skin that they were born in. Because you're not going to be there to defend them all of their lives. And he may be privileged right now. But how this world is going, it's going to be for the ones who have versus the ones who have not. And even the uh, people that think they r rich millionaires and billionaires, they're going to have a time where they're going to fall as well. And how is this young man going to feel then? Because he, he's wrapped around privilege. He lives in a big bubble of privilege. But if anything happened to those two people that said they're going to care and take for him, okay, meaning his stepmom and his mom, um, his dad, what if their wealth went to the wayside what 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 would they do now we already know when the way Wade stopped taking care of his real wife which is she or her look what she had to do she had to go try to get him to pay her child support and to take care of his family before his second family meaning with gary or union okay now i want to see her when the elites come back and say allegedly we need another sacrifice. What are you going to do? Is Kavaya going to be up for, for grabs? No, you probably said, no, no, let's get one of um, uh, my husband's kids again. You know what I'm saying? And then they might not be so willing to take that. Okay? Because we know, I just really feel that Dwayne is in a bubble. He's in a <sighs> no man's land. You know what I'm saying? He's only um, going to do what his handler tell him to do. And I'm right. That's a boy. That's not a man. I mean, a girl. That's a boy. And even the boy she chose to be her boyfriend is literally, you know, the white um, boy that is a girl, really. In real life, she was born a girl, but she's acting like a boy. And that's who Dwayne Wade's son slash girl is hooked up with. Now, you make that make sense because it can't. It don't make no sense. You still attracted to women. But you're trying to put him and make him look like a girl. Because if he was truly loving on and liking guys, why didn't he get a guy that was born boyish and a guy that still looked boyish, but he prefers to be flamboyant, if you know what I mean. Okay? And I'm like, that's Zaire. I think that's Zaire. And he got another son that's really... um you know, stand in true, stand in the true tone, and and body that they were born in, which is me. Is he gonna turn Zaire out later on? Is he gonna turn his other two sons out? You know, what what are they gonna do? What are they gonna be asked to do later on for the elite? What other sacrifices are you gonna make of your children? But I am not lying. When I saw that picture. I went and found my daughter. I said, oh, is she pretty? And my daughter said, well, she look like Vanessa on Bernie Mac. I said, you know what? She really do. And then I went to talk to my son-in-law. I said, well, you know, you, do you, you see this picture? And she pretty. And he said, mm-hmm. And he was trying to go back to sleep. But he had, in his mind, thought she was a girl. But this is Dwayne's Wade, Dwayne Wade's daughter. And I'm with Boosie. Don't try to turn that child into no full-fledged woman. Because it may just be a state of her growing or him growing into what he thinks he wants to be a part of. Because if it was my child, I'd be like, mm-mm. You're going to stay the boy. You're going to dress like a boy. But you can, if you want to have those mannerisms, fine. Because I need you to live in the skin that you were born in. Versus the skin that you want to portray, play makeup, and you desire to be a woman. Mm -mm, because when I'm not here, I can't protect you. When I'm grown and I'm gone to my other realm of life and I'm not on the same realm you're on, I want to make sure that you have tough skin. I want to make sure you understand the 
plight you're putting yourself in. Just like interracial marriages back in the uh, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, unheard of. Some people did still uh, broke the barriers and wanted to love on somebody out of their race. But they went through hell. They went through hell, pretty much hell, especially in the 50s and the 60s. And, and sometimes, in, in some ways, uh, people still hate interracial marriages. They hate it. Okay? And it's not just the white folks. Black folks hate it too. But it's like you're putting yourself in a box where people are going to treat you like circus people. And I'm saying it blunt like that because it is true. You got the Bible toting, thumping, you know, all, you know, hell. You're going to uh, hell. You're going to the fire of the lake. And that may be true. But it's just the way that Bible thumping people scare you is crazy. I mean, I, I believe a man and a man, I mean, a man and a woman should be just that, a man and a woman. But I'm not going to say if my daughter wanted to come later on down the road to my she gay, I'm not going to disown her. I'm not going to stop loving on her. But I'm saying I would tell her, you are putting yourself in a dangerous position. And while I'm here, I want to see you flourish in who you say you want to be now without any pretense or any of that. But I want you still to be dressing like a girl or whatever, doing what you need to do and, and, and portray who you think you say you want to be. Because I need you to understand what you put yourself into. I don't know if it's a fad or somebody talked you into it or maybe you had some feelings or you were raped. Or, you know, the, the scenarios can go on and on and on. But can you beat life and the life lessons that other humans are going to teach you. And see, everything is cool. Everything is great. Everything is lovely in the way home because he still has money. He still has connections. And he's not going to let anything happen to his son. But, you see how I'm saying how they traded things? She ended up to me. She's just like, I don't know. She, oh, I can't stand it. Let's not talk about her, okay? Let's not talk about her. Because I really don't think she would put Kavaya up to be sacrificed in some type of way. I ain't talking about the killing, but just to destroy and dehumanize who she was born as. I promise you, I don't think she would do that. She would not sacrifice her child, but she's so willing to sacrifice his three boys. And that is so wrong. So wrong. I'm, I'm sad to see he can't see that. That's him. Because I was searching for pictures of how he was when he was a little boy. Handsome. Beautiful. And he's walking in the skin he was born in. Now, I wouldn't have too much to say. But pray for him and try to be there for him when life teaches him some hard lessons. But he would have to stay a boy. So he can understand and feel all of that pain that he feels to see, can you can you truly do this the rest of your life? Because there's a lot of gay men out there looking handsome. Ooh. That make you want to go, mm, mm, mm. I'm going a, I'm a, I'm to have some some fun times with him because I'm going to bring him back to where he was born. He's going to be a man again. You know, you have people out there thinking that way too. But, I mean, it's some gorgeous men out here that haven't changed who they are aesthetically. And body type wise, they're not going to dress like a woman because that's not what they want to do. But they're going to look manly and they might sound a little feminine here and there. Or they may stay still strong, you know, in the, man out of t in, in the man's body. But their cravings is something else. They want to have the same sex relationships or they want to be bisexual or hell, I don't know if it's another or. Okay. Because even MJ's son went through a period, meaning Urban Magic Johnson and his son, you know who he is, okay? He went through that stage, but he chose to, as he got older, because he's a grown man now, he was still being seen as a boy, dressed as a boy, but had female tendencies. But when he got on, you know, a little older, got on his own, on his own he started letting us know who he was. But did he cut off his penis? I don't know. But Dwayne Wade is so ready to sex reassign his son, Zion, to make Zaya fully who he feels 
she wants to be. And that is wrong. If she's so... Oops, my mic fell, y'all. If he's so headstrong that his son wants to be it, then just say, hey, when you turn 18 or when you turn 20, you're a full-fledged adult. You have insurance. You do it. Because I'm not going to take any part of it or, or changing your sex assignment. If you feel that strong, then you do it when you turn 18 or 20. And, and, and I'll, yes, I will give you the, um, the money to do this thing. But it's going to be your choice. But you're going to grow up as a little boy or a young man in my eyes and in the public eyes. But like I said, if you want to date me, go ahead. But you're going to do it in your boy's skin, your man's skin. And if you want to do a re-sex assignment, like get some hair to stay on your head all the time where you don't pull it off, or you're going to wear wigs or whatever, and you're going to dress and look like a woman, then you can do that. But the world is going to see who you are. Because we ain't going to play this game where, you, uh, how you say it, um, where you try to trick somebody. You know what I'm saying? Because then that's another whole avenue. Because if my son-in-law thought you were a female, my daughter thought you was a female. What do you think going to happen to you when you go out there and you call yourself going to, say if you went to Switzerland or, let me see, Kentucky, and you was dressed as how, they, how you are portrayed looking right now as a full-fledged female, but you go up there in a the heterosexual world and try to date yeah, you go looking like this right here. And you might be done talk, had a, a, a vocal uh, training where you done talking like a little girl or a girl. What you think going to happen to you if you mess around and get a full-fledged man, heterosexual man, and he find out after exploring your body that you are just like him? Can you see the gray yard? Because you're going to be done mess with that man's sexuality by not telling him what you really are and who you really are and he has to make the choice if he want to be with you and believe me some straight men have definitely went to the other side they rather have a man that look like a woman and be in a relationship and have a family with them and that's perfectly fine you know but a lot of people are not going to like that and some men will even kill you to tell you the truth we've heard of it we've known of it they've talked about it are you wanting to be one of those statistics or are you going to come out and say uh, 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 with the guy that you meet up front what you are, who you plan to become, who you feel you don't solidify yourself in so he can make that decision whether he want to continue with you with knowing the truth and that you didn't fool him to thinking that you were a full-fledged woman because that's a death sentence for you, baby. That's a death sentence. So we got to keep Zaya which is really Zion in prayer, people. Because her dad, her step, his stepmom, don't care. They just doing something because they were told to do something. And, you know, hey, when you do something that you know is not right and you're encouraging somebody to be something that they can't really even choose at the age that they are, that they really want to be that way because they right now Dwayne Wade and the Gabrielle Union got him living in privileged times in a privy world where they control the scenario and the narrative of you know his son that he calls Zion now mm, mm, mm. may the Lord be with all of them and all the children who come and think they're want to re change their assignment of what they were born we all just have to pray for them and love them regardless or what they choose to do. Because love is more powerful than hate. But that's all I got for this video guys. But um, let me see if. Because uh, I got this article from. The um, neighborhood talk. But let's see. What they were talking about. Because sometimes I forget. To tell. <laughs> so sometimes I forget to. Uh, I, you know to bring out what um i found out from a platform what they had to say about it i've been on getting my opinion and moved on but um wait a minute let's see if it was like i said it was from the neighborhood talk 
and um only thing they said was uh, a lot of people were praising uh, Zaya how how she's looking and how she's faring in this new look she has taken on so they really didn't really say anything it's just like do y'all know this person well let me tell y'all she's a beautiful one she's a good one but that's a boy that's still a young man running around here just dressed up looking like a female okay so that's all i got i ain't got no more and i will see y'all on the next video Bye bye